Welcome to the front porch. My name is Kemper. It is December 14th. This is a show we call 3rd and 21. Welcome to 3rd and 21. This is a show we do two things. We talk about college football. We try to have a little bit of fun. We talk about college football. Try to have a little bit of fun. <clears throat> Big news in the land of 3rd and 21. We have a new presenting sponsor. The good people at American Health Imaging have come along as a title and presenting sponsor. Uh, don't worry, the content will not change, but the formatting will. It's going to give us a lot of really cool ways to cut this thing up and bring it to you uh, visually in a lot more exciting way. So stick around. Don't know if it's going to happen this year if we can get it turned around, but it's a two-year deal with American Health Imaging. Um, for, so we will have content for 2018 and 2019. Thank you, American Health Imaging. Remember, when it comes to imaging, it's your health, it's your money, it's your choice. Uh, listen, we always like to look back on last week, and I hope that you got to watch some of the Army-Navy game. It is a gem of the college football landscape. Listen, like I said last week, now, you don't necessarily have to watch it to see the best football players or the best offense or defense. As a matter of fact, of the 44 starters, 22, uh, 22 offense, 22 defense, I'm not sure a one of them would start on any team in the KPI top 15. But you know what? You know what you do see? You see pride. You see passion. You see loyalty and desire to sing second. So I hope you got to see it. It was a great football game. So, uh, let's move forward. There is no, so you're saying a there's a chance, nothing's changed since last week from 7 through 12, of course. Won't until we start playing some football games, but what I want to do is talk about five coaching hires that I grade an A+, plus, and then next week we'll grade out five, where I'm saying, hmm, we'll see how it works out, but five A-pluses. We'll start in Gainesville and work our way west the boys in Gainesville backed their way into the best hire that they could make. Flirting with uh, Chip Kelly, I never thought it made sense for Florida or for Chip Kelly, uh, for that matter. So Florida gets Dan Mullen, who's going to bring quarterback play to Gainesville, which they hadn't had since he left. So A-plus hire for Gainesville. Uh, number two, all we got to do is go right down the road to Florida State, who gets Willie Taggart. Now, look at, look at this ascension. Willie Taggart spent three years at Western Kentucky, two years at South Florida, a year at Oregon, and now he's the head coach at Florida State. That is a rise right there. Dude can coach, dude can recruit, and his offenses score a ton of points. So, good job for... Florida State. They handled that quickly, concisely, and got it done. Uh, moving further west, of course, we come to Nebraska, who brings home native son Scott Frost. Excellent hire. Anywhere he goes would have been a great hire. He goes home to Nebraska. We'll see if he can get them back to the form of 95-96 uh, and even further back of some of us older people remember J.C. Watt and um, those guys. So, um, Good for him and Nebraska. Keeping moving west, we come to UCLA, which is a great job, which is a job that has been underperformed for probably 20 years, really. They've had a couple of bumps where they were decent, but it's been 20 years since they've had a really consistently good team. Uh, somebody to challenge uh, USC in, uh, in Los Angeles. So we'll see what Chip Kelly, but it looks right. It looks right and it feels right. Uh, that he's going to do something there and bring the uh, bring the golden blue back. One you probably hadn't heard of, but is an A plus in the KPI, is uh, Jonathan Smith being hired at Oregon State. Now, you probably hadn't heard of it because the dude's name is Jonathan Smith and is Oregon State, so very much under the radar. But keep a slow eye on Oregon State over the next few years because dude is a good coach and I'm going to be excited. It's not going to turn around first year, but watch Oregon State over the next couple of years and see what he can do out there. Hey, we're going to take a quick break. 
we come back, we'll talk about a few things. Go to the ever popular mailbag. Don't go anywhere. Oof, man. Okay, what? Straight to the mailbag? Yeah. Count me in. Welcome to 3rd and 21. This is a show we do two things. We talk about college football, try to have a little bit of fun. We talk about college football, try to have a little bit of fun. So, in this segment, we are going to go straight to the mailbag. This is brought to us by our friends at ontheroadagaincars.com. I uh, talked to Brandon, and he said he is buying a lot of cars for the Christmas season. Well, if you're looking for a good, dependable, used car for under $10,000, give Brandon a call. ontheroadagaincars.com. First question. First question comes to us from Landon from Lilburn, a repeat question asker. Landon from Lilburn asks, asks, do you think that Clemson has what it takes to go all the way this year? Absolutely. Absolutely. Clemson, at the end of the season, was playing better than any other team out there. Um, Clemson is on a different level right now. Now, I'm not making a prediction now. I will in two weeks. But Alabama, who they draw, Nick Saban's going to tell his room full of five-star athletes, man, everybody thinks you shouldn't be in here. Everybody hates you. Everybody thinks that you are stealing somebody else's spot. And they're going to come out motivated. And they're going to come out relatively healthy. So uh, Clemson's going to get Alabama's best shot, and it's going to be something to watch. Can't wait. Next question. Next question comes to us from Caleb. Caleb says... In the November 16th program, you said the ACC Coastal was the best division, but named the teams from the Atlantic. I don't think that's a question, but you're absolutely right. I might have done that, but I will stick by this. I believe the Atlantic is the best division uh, to wit. Uh, six teams from that division made the uh, bowl games, and all but two, Clemson being one of them, and Boston College are the only underdogs. you got four teams that are favored in their bowl games. ACC Atlantic, best division in college football this year. Next question. Next question comes to us from Philip in Iowa City. Philip in Iowa City says, go Cornhuskers. Okay, go Cornhuskers. You got to be a happy person with uh, your new coach. Which, uh, which bowl games are jumping off the page for you besides the playoffs? Uh, great question. First and foremost, the uh, Southern Cal Ohio State game, and I cannot wait to watch that. That one really should be played at the Rose Bowl on New Year's Day at five o'clock but there's too much money involved. So they're going to play in the desert, but it's going to be a great game, great athletes, and it is going to be a lot of fun to watch. Can't wait to see that one. Um, another one that's maybe a little bit under the radar is, um, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing Washington State versus Michigan State. I think that's going to be a terrific clash of opposing styles. I mean, opposing coaches with Leach, this is crazy, funny, versus D'Antonio, buttoned up and just a stern football coach. Um, styles are just completely different. So keep your eye on that. I uh, cannot wait to watch Washington State versus Michigan State. Okay, they're telling us it's time for us to take another quick break. When we come back, we'll look forward and go to the Maxi Home. Put your money where your mouth is. Stick around. Mm. Alright, count me in. Welcome back to 3rd and 21. This is a show we do two things. We talk about college football and try to have a little bit of fun. Talk about college football, try to have a little bit of fun. Listen, bowl season's on us, and I love I'm a I'm a junkie. I will watch the Camellia Bowl. I'll watch the Sun Bowl. It does not matter. Uh, if I'm not working, I'm watching a bowl game. So um, 
with that in mind, let's talk about uh, the Maxi Home. Put your money where your mouth is. MaxiHomesGA.com. Whether you're looking for a custom built mansion or a really nice remodel, give Butch a call. He's going to give quality craftsmanship at a fair price. Put your money where your mouth is. Coming at you with a stellar 4-2 and two record. That's 67% to you. Um, the two losses were Ohio State both times by a half a point. So we've lost two games by one point. Um, four and two. So coming in on this week, what I'll do is go from Saturday to Tuesday's bowls. Uh, then do another one from uh, Wednesday to Wednesday to Wednesday. But this week, three bowls that I like. Number one, Boise State plus seven and a half over Oregon. Willie Fritz, like I said, is now in Tallahassee recruiting for the Seminoles. Uh, they did make a hire that we might talk about next week. Uh, so there is some continuity there. But seven and a half points, I think it's going to be closer game than that. Boise State keeps it close. And I don't think they're going to win the game, but I like seven and a half. Man, that's a good number. Uh, number two, Colorado State versus Marshall. I love Colorado State. Got to give up five and a half, but I think the physicality and the athletes are going to easily cover five and a half points. Um, Colorado State over Marshall. And the one that I like the most this week, listen, let me tell you something. Louisiana Tech is a terrific little team over SMU, whose coach is now at Arkansas. Might talk about him next week. Listen, Louisiana Tech plus five and a half over SMU all day long. Love that one. Hey, listen, we appreciate you watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, and look for big things coming up thanks to our friends at American Health Imaging. Remember, it's your health. It's your money. It's your choice. See you next week.